Hey guys, welcome to another tier ranking. And this is one I think a lot of people are looking forward to. This is Nickelodeon television shows. My favorites and least favorites. S tier the best, F tier the worst, you all know. And again, as you can see down below, not every single Nickelodeon show is on here. These are all the Nickelodeon shows I have seen. There are so many, especially they're still going on right now. I do not watch Nickelodeon right now. Uh, don't have the time and just, you know, it's, it's not for me. I'm not a kid anymore and stuff. Um, but I did watch Nickelodeon as a kid, even as a teenager and even as an adult. Um, I try to watch a lot of different types of shows and stuff and yeah, Nickelodeon was a big part of my life and stuff, and whether it was good or bad, I still have great memories watching some Nickelodeon shows and stuff. Uh, I know some people are going to be very disappointed when I talk about some of these shows, because this is a lot of people's, a lot of people's childhood, and I'm going to be smack-talking it, and they're going to be like, how fucking dare you? And again, that's just my opinion. If there's a show on here that I hate, but it means something to you, I'm not here to take that away from you. I'm just saying my opinions on it and how I don't like it. If you like it, that's fine. And again, I wish I'd seen more, but this is as good as it gets, so deal with it. <laughs> so let's just, let's start with the very first one here. Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, B tier. B tier for the Boy Genius. I enjoyed Jimmy Neutron. I enjoyed the movie. The movie was fun. Uh, the show is pretty fun, too. I love the, the story of this boy who's just genius, the big fat head, and he has a friend who's obsessed with, like, superheroes, and another friend who's just allergic to everything, and he's basically, he's got his robot dog, Goddard, and stuff, and he's basically just trying to make his way through elementary school, and, you know, try to show everyone that he can make a big difference with science and stuff, and it's fun, there's some funny moments, I always enjoyed it as a kid, not a show for adults, but it's a fun kid show. As told by Ginger, not a fan. My sister always enjoyed As Told by Ginger. She always, again, this is more for girls, so everyone's going to take the show differently. I always thought the characters were all so obnoxious. Like, even Ginger was a doughty, Courtney, all the other characters, they were all just so annoying and unlikable, and I never had any connection to any character in the show. And also, their problems were just irritating. Just, they were all so annoying. Just, I just never liked the show. <laughs> Danny Phantom, on the other hand, is fucking awesome. Danny Phantom was always such a kick-ass show. Like, I always enjoyed the action. I love Danny as a character. I love all the side characters. There were some great villains. I wish the show actually kept going. Sadly, it didn't, but from what we got, Wicked, wicked ass show. Go, Danny Phantom, go. <laughs> the World Wild Thornberries was was okay. Um, this is another show my sister liked. She was more into the show than I was. Um, like its crossovers with like Rugrats and stuff was cool and all, but this was just it never like grabbed me like other shows did. But it it had great moments, nice moments, enjoyable characters. Some nice, like, scenery, like, with the animals and stuff. Like, there was even some nice messages, but, again, just wasn't for me. Speaking of something that wasn't for me is Paw Patrol. <laughs> no. <laughs> just, I know it's more current. I watched it with my niece. She loves it. I just love it now, but she did when it came out. And for kids. Not, not for me. <laughs> uh, Cat Dog is another one. Just, I actually watched this as a kid. And even as a kid, just wasn't my thing. I'm just, yeah. Animorphs. Trash, terrible, stupid, dumb fucking show. Tried to be basically like all the like Power Rangers or Transformers and all that. So it is so stupid. There was even like a whole book series. It, it was actually, I think, produced by like a book series, Scholastic and stuff. You know, like, what a god awful show. <laughs> Are You Afraid of the Dark was a great show. This was better than Goosebumps. And I enjoyed Goosebumps. Like, Goosebumps was a big thing in my childhood. But 
Are You Afraid of the Dark was so unique, and I love the story of these kids telling, like, scary stories at a campfire. And some of the stories were so great, atmospheric, and just very spooky and great for kids and stuff. And I always loved the opening theme, Are You Afraid of the Dark, was always so creepy and weird, and I loved it. Just It was all around, like, a really good show. I, I, I have always enjoyed Are You Afraid of the Dark. Avatar The Last Airbender, everyone knows I just did a whole tier list. Of course, everyone knows I love Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> I might as well put Korra in the B tier. I enjoy Korra. I think it's a good show. I think there's a lot of problems with it. And I don't think it ends very well, but it's still a great show and beautiful to look at. So, still a good show. <laughs> Dragon, Dragon Josh, and here's the hate. Here's the hate. See here, it is a perfectly okay show. Uh, I was, again, I was much, I was getting older when the show came out. And just it, it didn't strike me with the comedy and stuff. My sister loved it. I thought it was okay. There's some funny moments here and there. I know a lot. This is a childhood show for people. That's cool. Not for me. Caitlin's way was a very underrated show. I don't know if anyone remembers Caitlin's Way. Um, this is a show my sister, again, watched. And I always watched it with her, but I always found it interesting. I love the story of a girl who's, like, homeless and almost, like, lives on the streets, and then she has to, like, move with her aunt and everything and actually, like, pick her life back up. She always lived in, like, a very low-class, slumpy life, and she actually can live in a middle-class life and built her life to be more successful and stuff. It actually talks about real teenage problems and problems in our class and society and stuff. It was actually tackled real issues. Were there some corny shit? Yes. Were there some really stupid things? Yes. Did the show get cancelled way too early? Of course. But I appreciate Caitlin's Way for doing something different. Ned's Declassified School Guide, School Survival Guide was a pretty fun show. I, I'll admit, I, I liked the kid who plays Ned. Is, is He's funny, like him doing this guide, telling everyone how to survive the school years and stuff was fun. Cookie and Moe's, his side characters, they're fun. <laughs> hey Arnold, S tier, fucking love love Hey Arnold. I, I've talked a lot about Hey Arnold, and just, I love the story of him and his childhood. Just, yeah, I, 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 I've I talked about the show. Everyone knows how I feel. It's, just, it's great. <laughs> uh, I think I've talked about Doug a bit. I, I hate the show Doug. I fucking can't stand it. I hate its opening theme. I hate its characters. Uh, I, I'm so confused about Half the things that is going on in the fucking show. It's so stupid. Every character is boring. I don't give a fuck what's going on. It's a stupid show. They made a movie. I'm glad they never made another one. <laughs> uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think this is the 2012 one. I always thought it was okay. It, it, it tries to do something kind of cool and unique with the Ninja Turtles. I don't like the animation. I really don't. I think it's pretty ugly. I don't like the way they did Shredder. Uh, I don't like some things in it, but they try to do darker stuff in it, and they, they, they actually push some boundaries, which I respect, but it's never going to be that old school 80s show, so. All that sucks. <laughs> Zoe 101 also kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, I actually watched a lot of Zoe 101. Again, my sister loved it. I did not. Jamie Lynn, Jamie Lynn Spears is a worse actress than her sister. Door of the Explorer, not my thing. Blue's Clues, not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Rugrats, I've always enjoyed Rugrats. Rugrats is a good show. Uh, it's just like about the story of these babies and like their mindset and the adventures they go on. It's great. Tommy, Angelica, Phil, Dill, Chucky, all great. Um, I even enjoyed the movie. That I, I remember seeing that in theaters. It was great. Unpopular opinion, though. I think All Grown Up is a little better, though. I like the showing them in their preteens and teenage years and dealing with their issues. I thought the show got funnier, more interesting, and I wish they just kept going with it. It was fun. Uh, 
Ren and Stimpy. I love how bizarre and weird and crazy it is. It's great. Fairly Odd Parents. I know people love it. I think it's okay. I think uh, Cosmo and Wanda are very annoying characters. <laughs> I think Timmy Turner is a very annoying character. I love Timmy's parents. I love Timmy's friends. I think they are the more interesting characters in the show. Um, I think it has catchy music in it, but just, I don't know, just never got me. Like, I, I enjoyed some of it as a, it was a, as a younger kid, but definitely got more obnoxious as I got older. <laughs> SpongeBob is, is... I'm going to go B tier because I know everyone put it in A or S. SpongeBob, I have a lot of respect for Bunch SpongeBob. Like, it's not a show that I watch religiously. I did watch it when it was on television. I've seen all the movies. The first movie's so funny. It's so good. Uh, the second, third one, eh. But I love the video game, too. Battle for Bikini Bottom. Very good game. I respect it for what it did. It brought a lot of unique things and iconic things and television shows and cartoons. And I really respect it. But it's not a show that I loved and a show I, it like defined my childhood and stuff like a lot of people did. Like I have other shows for that, like Dragon Ball Z did that, The Simpsons did that, Fresh Prince of Bel Air did that. Um, even like Hey Arnold and Danny Phantom did that more and stuff. Like other shows had more of an impact on me in my childhood than SpongeBob. And that's nothing to take away with SpongeBob. I have a lot of respect for SpongeBob, but it's not a thing like I put on the top of my tier because that's just not me. Sorry. <laughs> so for the S tier, of course, Avatar and Hair Arnold are the best. Danny Phantom and Ari for the Dark are A tier. Uh, I will put SpongeBob on the top of B tier with Korra because they're both very good. Well, Caitlin's way because it does something different. Ren and Stimpy, it's iconic. All growing up in Rugrats. And I'm gonna put in SD Let's find the baby. Yeah, B tier. C tier, I will put Ninja Trolls on the top with Drake and Josh. Fairly up parents. No. Yeah. <laughs> D tier. Paw Patrol will go on the top with mm, all these shows are great for kids. They just never you know <laughs> they never spoke to me in every, any certain any stretch of the imagination. Animorphs are the worst. Doug's very close. All that's a stupid show. Yeah, so that is my tier ranking for the Nickelodeon shows I have seen. I apologize if people are upset. They're like, oh my god, my childhood is in a D tier. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. These are just my opinions. I'm still very kind on the good ones, I feel like. But, again, that's, that's what the comment section is for. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite and least favorite Nickelodeon television show. Let me know about your childhood. Comment below. Let me know. Try not to be too harsh because I know you're all going to be angry. <laughs> and yeah, as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.